What is up, Big Pippin family? In this video, I'm gonna show you in the next two minutes how you can always know where you're at in the market and always be in the right direction most of the time. All right, welcome to the video, Big Pippin family. All right, listen very carefully. This right here can change the whole trajectory of your trading career. Now, this is what helped me when I, you know, a few years ago when I got into institutional trading. And basically, that's supply and demand, right? I'm not going to go super, super heavy into this. I'm going to show you just how to mark it up real quick so that you don't have these issues anymore of like knowing where you are in the market. So let me just grab any random pair over here. Let's just do GBP AUD. All right, and I'm gonna go to the 15 minute, okay? And I'm just gonna zoom out like this. You can go to the one hour if you want, just kind of like, just to know the direction. And depending on who you are, you might be like, well, this is an overall downtrend, but you know what? I like to scalp the market. So in this case, I'm gonna zoom into this area, okay? And I'm gonna look for where we are in this current situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the last green candle up before the down movement, which is right there on the one hour down, right? Um, you could actually move it even higher. You could, well, you can have another one up here, the last green candle up before the down movement right here. Now what happens is the banks, the institutions need to bring this back up into that area eventually to close out all their their uh, buy orders and then put in more sell orders to drop it unless they don't protect it anymore, but we'll go over that in a minute. Now, this is super, super important to know because, okay, if they're rejecting this area, we're in a bearish market still, right? So let's just, let me actually go back in time, my, my bad. So let me just go back randomly. Actually, let me uh, do it on the one minute, go back as far as possible. So I could really kind of show you the price action in between there. So go there, so this is randomly backwards for all the you people that think I cherry pick and all that kind of stuff, but what's the point? Like, it doesn't matter. Uh, so if I go to the one hour, let's look on the one hour. All right, so what do we have here? This right here is your playing field. The last green up before down, right? The last red plus the whip. That's the order block on the bottom, right? So this is your demand area and this is your supply area, right? Now, what I want you to notice is this came up here and took out these highs right here. So it took out the liquidity. Now that could mean it's gonna drop, depending on if you start seeing wicks in this area um, or a break of structure back up in that area, you can consider taking buys, right? So I'm gonna push play one more time. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop down to the one minute and I'm going to draw these out, okay? So I'm on the one minute and this is our playing field. This is the only area that I'm gonna be taking uh, trades, period. Uh, and with that said, I'm gonna be buying because look at this, this tapped into this area right here. This tapped into this block that we found on the one hour, right? Tapped it. So as soon as that happened, I could essentially go down to the one minute and kind of look for some kind of uh, price action, right, to happen, meaning rejection. So if I see this like break this high, I would take it. Okay, so there we go. So now with that said, we're seeing little uh, lower highs being broken on the way back up creating a higher high. If it gets past this, I'm really gonna be into it. Let me just see. Let's push play. Okay, ooh, even better. So now we're in this order block right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to the one minute order block areas. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the higher time frame on the lower time frame. Now this is kind of mitigated already. Um, this one wasn't mitigated. So this last red candle down right here before the up movement, right? This never came back into this zone to take this out. Um, and there's one more down here, so right there, okay? So I could essentially take the hour one off now, and then I could look over here and I'd be like, okay, well, this one broke that one, so we're not concerned with that one. So it comes down and taps this one, this is where I'm gonna be interested. Okay. Not interested yet. Now I'm interested. So right there, I'd be looking for a reversal back up. So this is where I'd be looking, 
right now. Now, if they break this low, that means we're going bearish. If it holds, if this holds right here, that means we're going bullish. So I, I see bullish right here. So I'd be getting in literally right in this area. So like right when this tapped, I would have got in. I'm just giving you an example. Now, what is where is our playing field? I put my stop. I'd actually look left and I'd put my stop probably like below these lows. Might as well. It's a 7.2 pip stop, right? Now, what I personally do is I do a one to one break even. So like uh, as soon as this hit one to one, I set my stop to break even. So I'm in a risk free trade from here to here. This is a one to 3.61. But let me let me show you what I would do here. So one target would have been this area right here, this order block right here on the one minute. Remember the last green with the wick before down movement? That would have been a good area to take some partials or something like that. The next area would be right here, this green area right here. So this would be your playing field. You just kind of play it by ear. Let's see if it makes it all the way up there or not. Boom, tapped it, right? That right there would have been a one, two, six. Okay. Now with that said, this is a, this is a very heavy volume area. So to get past that would be super, super hard. So what most likely going to happen is this is going to come back down to this area before breaking through this area. So let's see if it comes down. I'm actually going to mark the path just to kind of show you. And once you start understanding this, that's when everything changes for you. All right. So what I think is going to happen I wish I didn't end that one is it's going to come back down here, mitigate this area. Um, and then come and retest this area and then come up to, this is a total guess, but you know, if this works out, I'm going to look like a freaking genius, right? Boom, this area. All right. So let me actually mark that last spot up. So up to here. Okay. Let's just see what happens. It could, it could just break through now, but I, I think because it's so heavy right here that it's going to come down and mitigate first. That's my point. Let's just play it. I could be wrong. All right. Mitigate it. It touched. Now let's see if it goes up. Come on. Break, 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 break. That does not want to go past that yet. Okay. Well, I was wrong. Okay, but here's where I was right. Okay, it did come all the way down here, mitigated this area, and then from here to here, you could have won a lot, actually. So, like for instance, right here, if you would have gotten in here and had your stop below here under this block to here, that was a one to four point six nine, right? Notice how I never said there was any entries, but that's that's something that would happen quite often, is what I just shared with you. Now. How do I make this easier? How can you start seeing the order blocks easier for you? Well, I have this indicator. If you don't already own it, it's seven dollars. Okay, for for now, it's called the Supply and Demand uh, Plus Alert Smart Money Indicator, and basically, um, it's seven dollars. You can go to pipstackingseekers.com and it has training with it and stuff like that. So, with that said, it's it should get, show you where a lot of the order blocks are. Right, so like, let me just erase some of these, remove drawings. Okay. Um, oh, I know what's going on here. One second. Uh, I just want the show order blocks. That should help. Yep. All right, so what this does is basically, oh, my phone's gone. Sorry about that. What this does is uh, if it's above, that means if it pulls back into that area, you can look for cells. If it's below, it'll be green. And actually, I don't see any. Let's just put on 15 minutes, see what, what it shows. There you go. So if it's green, you could be looking for buys, especially if you're in a overall bullish momentum like this, like this is overall up, right? So right now we're in a, a, a pretty good, order block. Now what I like to do is I'll set it on a higher time frame like this. So I'll put it on like the one hour uh, order blocks and I'll keep it on like the 15 minute time frame, right? So now it's going to, there you go. So now this it's looking for an, a one hour order block. So it should come down to that area. Maybe not, but we'll just see. Came down pretty close. As you can see, our play, our, our area to play with is from here 
to here. That's the only area that we're looking to play with right now, right? So it touched the top. Let's see if it goes back down. There it goes. So really want you to understand that everything is about ranges and supply and demand. And it's not really about break of structure. It's about breaking demand or supply areas. And supply becomes demand and demand becomes supply. I truly believe that. So like if this uh, breaks this order block here, we're very bearish. Let's see. But it's, it hasn't yet, so we're, we're bullish. All right, so now we're down there. So see how it literally just played off that and went up? These are very nice scalps at, at the least. It should come up to here, see? Taking out this liquidity and mitigating this area, unless they're protecting highs. But there you go, touch all the way up there, there, bam, shot down. All right, it should come back down here to mitigate this area. Then back up here, most likely. All right, mitigate it all the way down here. There's one down here, too, you got to pay, pay attention to. Okay, it's going for that that one all the way down here now. Boom. And that was the last one other than this little one, so it should start going up again, essentially, if you're following an order flow. Because you have all these up here, so let's see when that does that. Oh, it's going for, oh, there's a massive one down here, okay. And the, the, the dashed line, by the way, is a um, is the 50% area. So once it, that happens, I consider that mitigated. So now I've got all the big ones that I could see. There's really no reason for it to keep going down at this point. So it should start going up normally, I should say. This is a good time to start taking buys. Now if it, if it uh, creates a new high here. Yeah. Oh, that didn't yet. So we got to wait till this is uh, broke right here. There we go. Now it should just it should just start going up. So you'd be taking buys like crazy. So now when it pulls back to these green areas, you'd be buying up, right? And then using these red as target. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Now you'd be waiting for a buy down here. If it came down here, it doesn't always. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now go up. Just from there to there would have been a lot of money, like scalping. So hopefully you get what I'm teaching you here is supply and demand, okay? Really don't need to know that much more about trading if you understand price structure with supply and demand areas. Now, again, go to pipstackingsecrets.com. I'm going to type it right here, pipstackingsecrets.com. And also, I have a way for you to work one-on-one -on -one with me where I guarantee you that you'll start profiting consistently, um, you know, over a period of time. Now, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but I'm just showing you what I do for educational reasons. I guarantee you that you can, uh, I'll work with you literally one-on-one -on -one until you get funded from a prop firm. Okay, that's my guarantee to you, whether it takes two weeks or Six months, it doesn't matter. It's the same price uh, for this time, for the time being. So if you're interested in that, go to bobsproof.com and just check out the testimonials and stuff, but then go to the uh, pages. Let me just show you this. Let's see, new window. If I go to bobsproof.com, what you wanna do is click this button right here and just fill out this application to work with me. And then I'll get right back to you via text, okay? So, but right here, these are like my daily, these are my students' daily results, okay? Let me just kind of show you. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. This goes on and on and on and on and on and on. But anyway, so ch check that out. Go to bobsproof.com. If you haven't uh, got my indicator yet, go to pipstackingsecrets.com. And hopefully this video helped you. If it did, put uh, give me a like and subscribe. And also uh, put in the comments if you have any questions. God bless. Take care. Back it out. Peace.